I guess it got pretty cold last night. I woke up with a headache again today. I just want to feel normal and healthy for once this semester. I guess that's not exactly fair. I felt healthy at the beginning of the semester. Today I've got calculus in the morning. I don't know if we're going to get our tests back from yesterday. And then in the early afternoon I've got my anthropology class. And then the early evening we've got our weekly staff meeting at EcoGeek, which of course is all things Crash Course, SciShow, Sexplanations, Vlog Brothers, VidCon. Used to be subable, but as you know, subable is gone. The weather here has been so fickle lately. There's ice all over everything today, but you know, a few days ago it was like 50, 60 degrees, which for uh, Celsius users out there, I think is in the neighborhood of like 15 ish. What did you guys feel about the test yesterday? Mm -hmm. Lot, lots of this. <laughs> that weird problem. Right, so the idea was that I wanted to have a problem that if you had the right picture in your head, it would be easy. Since I have such a large gap between my calculus and anthropology classes, I often go home between them. Today, I fell asleep, not intending to, and then slept through my anthropology class. Oops. I did wake up in time to get to the staff meeting today though, so it's not a total loss. Okay, okay let's do this. All right. All right, okay. I just worked out at the gym and now I'm sweaty. I haven't been here in like three weeks, and it's kind of impressive how much strength I've lost during that time. I've got some work cut out for me to get back to where I was just a few weeks ago. Now I gotta get home and finish a calculus assignment before 11, so that's uh, three hours from now. On NPR just now, there was a story about how this writer discovered that he and everyone he asked felt like they were more likely to cry as a result of reading a book or watching a television show or a movie on an airplane. And thinking about it, whenever I've been consuming media on an airplane, I feel like it affects me more emotionally. In particular, there's an episode of Radiolab called Words that I remember listening to on an airplane and it bringing me to tears. When I've listened to that episode, not on an airplane, it still moves me to some extent, but it didn't hit me like it did on an airplane. And it's hard to say how much of that is just because it was the first time I'd experienced that episode versus whether it had anything to do with the airplane. But now I'm curious if, if you guys feel like on airplanes, you are more emotionally vulnerable to stories, fictional or otherwise. This problem doesn't make any sense. It's hurting my brain. Claire, what's the answer? Plus C. Plus C. Plus C. Uh, variable C is not defined in this context. What's the answer? 